if you do anything in real estate, if you do wholesale real estate, if you're a cold caller, if you do text messaging, you're definitely going to want to stick around and watch this. This is mindset. Happy New Year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, this is, I'm Edwin from Edwin Virtual Hub. We used to be Edwin Wholesale Call. We're rebranding right now. So Edwin Virtual Hub. Um, if it's your first time coming to our channel, please subscribe. If you like the content, give us a like, okay? So today, what am I gonna talk about? Let me see. This is very important. If you're, um, what I'm gonna talk about today is the mindset. It's not positive thinking. It's not, it's not really what you believe, it's what you think. Um, from moment to moment, from day to day. And how to be successful in cold calling, it really comes down to what you think. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what that pertains to, okay? So, I just got off a call with a campaign and one of the agents was talking, who's a really good agent, said, it's a numbers game, and I hear that a lot. It's a numbers game. Cold calling, text messaging, it's a numbers game. Okay, so that's true. It is a numbers game. But let me ask you to think about something here. If cold calling is a numbers game, text messaging is a numbers game, um, does it really matter what your mindset is or how you think? Since it's a numbers game, you just could get on the phone, talk to people, uh, text message, follow up. Maybe you close some deals, right? Maybe, maybe the campaign will close some deals. So how do we get the campaigns to first base well mindset it is a data you have to have good data that's for sure um, but mindset is I think it's just as important if not more important and what I mean by mindset well I'm gonna give myself you know my experiences as an example because I think it's best if you never cold called and text message then you don't know you won't know what I'm talking about but if you are a cold caller text messenger an agent if you're a campaign and you've done this before then you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about so when I work for Brent Daniels we'll just go back there um, when I started with Brent I worked for a while and then I I came to Brent and I told him I'm burnt out that I need to take a break and he's like what what do you what's up what's up you know and I just said I'm burnt out I need to take a break okay so I I ended up taking um, like a week off or something like that and then during that time I asked myself why am I burnt out why why am I getting affected by my calls why when someone tells me to go bleep off, um, gets angry, you know, and it has, sometimes happens over and over again. Why is my skin not thick? What's happening? I had to look at myself and, and my own mindset. So, um, I, by trade, I'm a nurse, you know. So I look back at a couple of my successful calls and I thought back to ones that I could remember. I listened to some recordings. And I realized that the feeling I wanted to have on all of my calls was when I would get a successful call. So I looked at, and I tell this to our agents a lot when I do training, um, I tell this story a lot. I talked to someone named Luis, and this is in Arizona, somewhere in Arizona. And her, this is kind of common, happens, it's life. But her husband w had died recently um, and she wanted to move out of the house and she was having bad thoughts you know bad like really bad thoughts about when she stayed in the house it brought back bad memories and for her she needed to get out right so she wanted to relocate to Florida when I was talking to her she just told me I want to relocate to Florida I want to be with my daughter one of my daughters so I told her, well, let's make that happen, you know? And I remember the feeling when she was crying and that when she told me what her goal was and she wanted to sell, 
and we didn't even go into really we didn't go into motivation we didn't go into price we didn't go into any of that stuff she just needed someone to listen to her and she gave me all that information right there okay this is not every call but this is a call that made me feel a certain way my emotions I felt like I was helping someone I felt joy when I got off the call because this was a good chance for Brent to get a deal, and that not just the deal itself, but this was a chance for us to really help someone that needed help. And it was the timing of the call, maybe. Um, it could have been a follow-up, it could have been a situation like that, but the main thing I'm talking about here is my mindset. So my mindset was, I was really motivated to help her. And why was I motivated? Because she needed what we were offering, okay? So Brent ended up closing that deal and um, I called her, you know, I talked to her again and um, she was very thankful, said that the team was amazing and she remembered everyone and it was, it was great. So here's my point. There's no reason to get affected by someone telling you F off. No, 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 over and over again. Because the one call where you're going to get that person like like that that needs that needs our help that needs what we have so what I did was I started <clears throat> once that happened I realized when I was thinking about my calls I realized this is this is me this is what's affecting me is my mindset on uh, in my emotions my how I deal with people whatever they do it doesn't matter it matters my responses and my feeling in my heart if I'm going to last at this or not. And I, I really want it to last. So I went back to Brandon and I said, hey, I'm cool now after about a week. And he's like, he always remembered this though. He remembered that I said, I'm burnt out. Like even years later, like a year later, year and a half later, he, he brought that up like, oh, are you, I heard you're burnt out. Are you still burnt out? It's like, no, that was my past. That was before. But what happened on my calls after that is like, for me, I became like something very important that could not be replaced by another agent because my mindset was this when someone told me to go to hell get lost whatever and I went through a maybe a, a streak of a bunch of no's I did it didn't affect me because I didn't care because I knew I was gonna get to the one call the one old lady the one person that was had poor credit had had to need to, needed to downside, needed the money for college, needed the money because they couldn't buy another house or they just need, they want to get the hell out of Arizona, California, wherever. They want to leave and they need our help. That call. So my mindset is always on that call. So when I'm getting the no's, I'm thinking in my mind, thank you. When I'm getting the FU's, I'm thinking, thank you. I have... I have 100, 200 FUs. I have a, I have a 100, 200 no's. Thank you because I'm moving on to the next call that's going to give me that lovely old lady that's going to say yes.